They worked for the John. And I thought the books was open in the books of life. So every man was judged according to these words. That's what's really been on my heart for the John. I had right new to heaven and, and, and New Jerusalem coming down, but I backed up and read that according to your words. Every man is going to be judged. I thought that's really stuck to, to my mind. You're going to be judged according to your works, not nobody else's. That's what you're doing. I thought about when the high priest went into the temple, they put them little veils on him. Put them little veils on him, tied a rope around his leg. He had to sanctify himself before he went in there. He had to make sure there was nothing in him. He went in the presence of the Lord. So they wouldn't drag, if he died, they'd have to drag him out. Because they couldn't go get him because he'd die. I wonder why they said, sanctify yourself on tomorrow. Before they went into a battle. You know why? Because like Bridget said, I, I thought about that. It was pondering in my heart what Bridget said. We get so much stuff clouded up in our minds and in our hearts. We can't talk to the Lord. Sometimes you have to sanctify yourself. In different spots it says, for the purification of the Jews... When Jesus turned the water into wine, there said so many pots there for the purification of the Jews. Sometimes we get so much stuff on us, we just have to purify ourselves one more time. I thought about this morning when I was sitting there reading. I thought about I'd like to just purify myself. I thought if we could just get ourselves out of the way, I know the Lord would have his way. Amen. Amen. If we could just get our minds on the Lord. John said I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. That the Lord would have his way. I thought about I'm not. Brother John, I'm preparing myself for a home. Amen, right? I ain't got no time to waste. I thought about we come off a hill there riding yesterday. I was asking this guy, he didn't care if we come through there. I mean, him got to talking. And right before I left, I thought I said, uh, do you just go to church? Brother John, I, the I Lord wanted me just to bid him to go to church. You know, he said his wife had cancer. He cut his foot off. He had Agent Orange or something. Amen, he blacked out before he was in the... Done chemical warfare or something in the army. I don't know what I was saying, but you know what? Don't let that worry you. Worry you what your works are when you're being judged. I thought about Jesus said, When you leave out of the city, if they don't hear you, just shake off the dust under your feet. Sometimes you just got to shake the dust off and go on. Just go on. Don't worry about what everybody else is saying. Just shake the dust off and you go on. You worry about what you're doing because you're going to be judged according to your words. And this song, I want, I, want, I, want, I don't want my children to cry when I die. I want them to have church. And this is what I'm living for. I'm living to go home. Well, I don't want my kids to be sad for me. When I leave here, Elizabeth, don't you shed one tear. Because I'm not right. right. If I am near to the end, the same shall be saved. Because I'm just a passing through. Amen. If somebody's going to deteriorate, it's going back to the dust where it came from. And I just want to go home. I just want to go home. It don't matter what they say about me, I'll just shake it off and go on. Sure, it hurts. Sure, my family says stuff that hurts me, but I'll just shake it off because why well, I got a hill in a game and a hill to shine. Between the pages of an old family Bible, I found a
Yes. Uh, Sister Brooke, you ain't gonna sing, I'll sing one more. <laughs> hey, 